Hey guys, so uh, we're actually at the other fire pit in my yard. Hi. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi guys. Mm. You want to see yourself? Hi. Who is that? Mm. Who is that? Mm. Say Jack. Mm. Hey Jack. Mm. Who's, who am I? Mm. Say Daddy. Mm. Who's that? Say, Ezzy. Uh. You're being lazy. <laughs> he can talk. He just doesn't want to. Anyway, um, we're at our other fire pit, which is actually just down the trail from right there. Let's see. And I'm ass backwards here, but we have the fire right about there. Uh-oh, baby fell. And uh, I put this one up a couple, well, last summer and we literally have never sat in here and had a campfire so we decided we'd give it a try seeing as we're only here for another two weeks maybe so um yeah it's nice it is it's very cozy back here i like the surrounding trees it feels almost like a campground and then the trail I love having that trail there. I just, I, I think that is just the coolest thing. What? Whatever. It's the limbo. <clears throat> I'm gonna miss having this amount of property to stretch my legs out on, but we'll be okay. Why don't you throw some more wood in there, honey? You literally throw it in there, don't you? Well, don't do that. Okay. You gotta stack it in, otherwise you're gonna... Jack! Jack, play with this one! Yeah, this one. Nobody yeah. listens to me anyway. Get some more wood in there. Come on, get an armful. Yeah. Probably you guys are thinking, well, why don't you do it? Why? Oh. <laughs> Stop going! Yeah. <laughs> Jack, what is Ezzy? Eh ho! That's mean. You don't say that about sissy. Say shit. Shit. Say fuck. Say truck. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm heading to school right now. It's weird, well a couple weird things happened this morning. I was uh, getting Jack's diaper bag ready and Jack was just playing, doing his thing and um, there's this chair in the kitchen where grandpa used to sit every morning, he'd sit in that chair and Jack walks up to the chair completely ignores me but walks into the chair stands in front of the chair and goes hi hi and I'm like check who are you saying hi to and he points and goes hi and he points at the chair and says hi and I'm like check there's nobody there and he's like uh-huh you know and I'm like no there's nobody there and then I kind of lead him away from it you know five minutes later he comes back and says hi, hi, you know, and everything. And I'm just thinking, could dad be sitting there? Could Jack be seeing him? I don't know, it was odd. Kinda gave me the chills a little bit. Hey guys, so it is an absolutely beautiful spring day out there. Beyond these windows here. <laughs> And uh, I can't really enjoy it because I've got to go to school. I've got homework to do. But the good thing about it, god damn birds. Shit on my windshield. Anyway, I've only got two audio assignments to do. And I've got a Photoshop assignment and then I'm done. And that's it for this semester. And I've got three days. 
so except for one class and that was um uh what do you call that adobe illustrator and it wasn't like i couldn't figure it out it was just because i let myself get too far behind and i wasn't able to catch back up so i had to drop the course so i'm gonna have to retake that next time oh my goodness it's bumpy holy shit um, that's another thing. I don't even know if I'll be able to finish school. I think I'm going to have to drop out because there's just no way I can. Why in the hell is he cultivating that field? That's our neighbor, Morris Crawl. I don't know. Maybe he's doing it for the Amish. Oh, yeah, that's what he's doing, sure. Um, anyway, so I've done the research. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And I, um, even if I can go online, I guess what I could do is I could take courses that don't require using cameras, like critical thinking and um, typography and Adobe Illustrator, again, online, and that way I don't have to worry about doing anything, you know, I, I won't have to worry about, like, because coming up they are doing, we're going to start making, next semester we're going to start making um, music video and a commercial and um, just a, a list of things, um, a mini movie, and... Uh, I won't be able to do any of that because I won't be in the school because I'll be two or two and a half hours away. So I'm thinking what I'll probably do is do the courses that I can do online. Don't have to worry about using any gear, and um, that way I'll still be enrolled. But I'm gonna have to think of a way to come down and go to school a couple times a week, maybe rent out, you know, stay with a friend or something like that. Maybe I could stay with John. I don't know. I just need a way to finish school because I've only got two semesters left when I graduate. So... Anyway, yeah, so today, yeah, it's about 62 out, I think, and just gorgeous, unbelievable weather. I walked out, and it was just like, oh, you know, it was so nice, it was just, I didn't even want to put Jack in the car, I was like, no, buddy, let's just hang out, I'll mow the lawn or something, and, um, but no, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta get this assignment done. There be more nice days in the future, I hope. I'm praying. There should be. So, what the, what is going on here? Somebody's at, waiting at the stop sign here. I'm on a back road right now. Oh, farmers. Yeah, all the farmers are planting their crops right now. Because it's finally dried out enough to actually get into the field. That was one job I was thinking about doing was working for a farmer, because I used to do that. I did it like for four or five summers in a row where I would uh, drive tractor and spread cow shit. And um, I didn't mind, I liked it, I was good at it. And I used to work for this guy in Unity, I worked for another guy outside by not too far from my place here, and we drive these tractors all over the place, and, um, you know, just spread shit, pump out the manure tank, or the manure, um, manure, as Amanda says, <laughs> I can't say manure, right, according to her, but I would go and pump out manure pits, and, um, make 10 bucks an hour doing it. It was seasonal, but hey, it was extra money in the box. Alright, so obviously I'm done with school. I'm down in the woods now. 
And I got somebody buying that guy. So I got to pull that down real quick here and go and meet him. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I had to run back up to the house to get this little one here. She's home alone, so I thought I'd bring her down here to help Daddy take the deer stand down. <laughs> um, yeah, so battery died near the camera, so now we're using the uh, Samsung. So let's get started again. If I didn't tie that extra rope on there, that would be on the ground right now. Hey guys, so it uh, is the 11th today, and I saw the D doctor. I actually went in for x-rays first, and then I went and saw him on Zoom Dwayne. And um, he asked me what kind of pain it was, what the symptoms were, all that stuff. And uh, he's like, does it... I get really bad going up a staircase and I'm like yeah I go that's where it kills me and he goes yeah he's like I think that you might have some torn cartilage and I'm like oh, shit I know what that means because I've had torn cartilage in my shoulder too and um he's like yeah he's like surgery and I'm like I can't have surgery right now we're moving and um He's like, well, he's like, it's not 100%. He's like, we're, let's have you go in for an MRI and um, I'll see you next week. And I was like, all right, I have to go to Wausau for an MRI tomorrow because it was just the one that, you know, was available. I'm not gonna wait a week and then wait another week to, for all this crap. I'm gonna get it done as soon as humanly possible. But um, yeah, so I gotta be in a Wausau tomorrow and uh, go from there. But he, I'm like, so what happens if I just, you know, live with it? And he's like, oh, he's like, you know how it makes you need to straighten your leg? And I'm like, and that's what happened. At first it's pain, then it's throbbing, then it's stabbing pain, and then at that point, then it's like, okay, either I have to straighten my knee or I'm gonna flip the fuck out. It's that simple. Um, He's like, you know how it does that? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, he goes, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. He's like, you know how it's gotten worse in the last, you know, couple of months? He's like, imagine that, what you're going through now, times 10 in like three months. And he's like, but that's only if it's torn cartilage. He's like, let's go and check, have your MRI done and all this other crap. And I'm like, oh, son of a and we're removing, 
There is no Marshfield Clinic. I don't even know where the nearest one is. I think Wausau, which is like an hour and a half away. No, two hours away. I don't know. Guys, this sucks. This really is not what I expected. I expected them to drain my knee. I didn't expect it to come in and say, oh yeah, we're gonna have to operate. Jeez, man, I cannot get a break. What the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't think that worked out too well. Me neither. <laughs> not when I'm on the edge. Why not? Because. Because why? Hey, now. <laughs> Did you just fart? No. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh -uh. Daddy. 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 Where's your mother? <laughs> Hold on. I need a place to put the camera. Huh? You gotta hold the camera. Come here. Ready? Hold on. Stay there, don't move. No. What's the matter? Don't move. He doesn't want to be on it. All right, Daddy's stopping it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just falls. Stay there. Can you do it just me? Yeah. Yay. All right, go play. <laughs> no, yeah. Jack, you're gonna <laughs> watch out. Get out of here. Daddy's gonna do it. Move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fast, super fast, super fast. As fast as <clears throat> yeah, let's go for a walk. <laughs> 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 this feels so weird. It's because like you're weird. Gravity. Where's our kid? No. Oh. Feels like there's no gravity. <sighs> <laughs> no! Honey, leave it. Let her go. I'm going to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boob's gonna pop ah! out. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. <laughs> oh my god. You dizzy yet? No. Here. <laughs> well, I think it's just a cooking. Everything's just a blur. <laughs> You are really moving. You <laughs> can leave her there for like an hour. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh. Honey. Yeah, it's far enough. No. Hi, Dad. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> you ready to get down? No, you don't go down that way. You go down this way. Daddy, stop me! Can't do it. You're gonna puke? Are you serious? You totally are gonna Ralph then. Ralph! 
Just puke in the grass, you'll be fine. <laughs> Jack, let's go down the slide. No, come here. Here, Daddy will go with you. Come on. Where's Mama? Ah! <laughs> Come on! What's a turn in the crisis? Has it had a turn? Alright. You want your turn now? So sit down right here. Put your foot here. No, hold still. Put one foot here and put one foot there, okay? Are you on? No! No, no. Ready? Here we go! Whoa! You don't like it? Want to go on the slide? Let's go on the slide. Daddy will go with you. Me. No, me. 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 Let's go. <clears throat> Hold on, wait for Dad. Wait, wait, don't go yet. Just wait, don't go, don't go. Hey, I said don't go! <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Ah, that is not fast at all. You gonna puke? <laughs> you gonna puke? You gonna puke? Hey yeah, guys, so we're out on a hike. No. We're monster hunting with the kids. There you go. Amanda's idea. <laughs> hey, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, go get the monsters. Go so it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'm hobbling along with everybody else here. Um, we're on a clemmy reserve right now. Just doing some family time. And uh, getting outdoors and Taking a break from being at the house and packing and you know all that shit that we have to do, but uh, yeah, we're we're, we're been, we've been adulting for quite a bit now. I love oh, fern heads or what are those things called? They're ferns. Yeah, but they're called something. I know, but apparently, depending on the type of fern, they're supposed to be really yummy. Yeah, you, you I know. That and you um, fiddleheads. That's what they're called. You saute them up. Yep. Be really good. They're supposed to taste like asparagus. Hun. Okay, I guess I'll talk to myself. Everybody ran away. But yeah, it is just, it's like 70 degrees out. And birds are singing. You know, everything's out and about and awake and grass is growing. Just, yeah, something about this time of year just gets me every year. Every single year I get so happy. Even no matter what's happening, it's like this is the optimal, perfect season, period. So it's 12th of May. I'm um, just hanging out in front of the microwave waiting for my hot pockets. Stupid microwave keeps shutting off on me. Got duct tape on it now. Hey, see it here. Right here. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Arr, hate this damn thing. Anyway, just got back from Wausau here and um, had my MRI. I actually drove the bike in today. I wasn't going to, but then I was like, you know, the Nissan uses so much gas, 
and um, so I got up at about nine, threw the charger on the bike, took Jack to the babysitter, which is only like three miles away, three, three or four miles away, and um, came back, took the charger off, checked the, the um, voltage, and I was at 12.48 volts. And so I was like, all right, you know, so I drove it all the way to Wausau. One problem happened. I don't know what it is, but with, I get forced air into my nose and mouth. I get that gag reflex, like um, you get phlegm in your throat. I don't know what the hell that is all about. So I had to pull over and yeah, I had, uh, I, I found some gum in my pocket, so I put gum in my mouth and that pretty much fix that problem but then I stopped at the gas station in Edgar and <laughs> I thought I had like about forty dollars in my wallet turns out I had four and I needed a soda and I needed a snack and I needed gas you piece of shit and um so I was like what the hell do I do now you know and so I um checked the gas and it was over half so I was like alright I'm okay there and it's like, well, I can eat after the MRI, so I got a soda. But that sucked. I was like, that really sucked. And um, but I got to to uh, the clinic there, and no big deal there. Just had an MRI. <sighs> I actually <clears throat> fell asleep, and I wasn't in the tube. I was only like up to here because they put me in feet first. Um, so. Yeah, that was that. But uh, on the way home, just a wonderful ride. It was so nice out. But get this, right? So I parked the bike in the clinic parking lot. I checked the voltage before I went in, and I was at 12.37. So then I went in, got all my stuff done, and it was about an hour, nah, 45 minutes happened and have happened or it was 45 minutes later I, I came back out and um, jumped on the bike now it was 12.38 right so then I drive home which is about I don't know 30 miles I want to say from here to Wausau and um, that bike was just Fly, God, that thing's fast. But I was doing like 80 down the freeway, and uh, just noom, 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 you know, right through. <laughs> it was it's really a lot of fun to drive. Um, I get home though, and remember now, it's either my stator, or it's got to be the stator. It's got to be because I already replaced the voltage regulator, and it didn't make a bit of difference. But I get home, and it's 12.49 volts. What happened? Why did it charge? Is it, you know is this happening, you know, frequently? I mean, I, it hasn't died on me since I took the regulator off, put the new one on, took the new one off, and put the old one back on. I don't know. Hey guys, well it is. Um, I don't remember what day it is to be perfectly honest, but as you can see in the back. I have a trailer full of crap, which means, what else? It's our first haul to the new place, and, um, you know, it hasn't really hit me yet. I don't think it's going to really hit me until our last haul, but, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm really surprised at how much stuff we've um, accumulated over the years. It's just... We're gonna have to do this like three or four times and then do the U-Haul. I am not happy or excited about any of it. It sucks, it really sucks. Cause you know, it's like, when do you load up the beds? When do you load up the the hot tub? When do you, uh, when do we do the, the whole shop? I mean, do we wait until the U-Haul is there and then do the shop or do we start doing the shop? And then, Maybe use the U-Haul. I don't know. It's just frustrating as all hell. 
Oh, and then me and Amanda are bickering like crazy, and so that drives me a little fucking loopy. But I guess it all comes with it, you know. It's it's part of the move. So I just gotta buck up and deal with it. Well, we're here, guys, and uh, this is the place. It's small. It's very small. I feel like it's smaller than our uh, our mobile home. Plus there's a lot of, uh, I feel like maybe we might have bought our mobile home all over again. <laughs> but it's, you know, I just, I don't know, I don't know. It's okay. So, oh, why'd you have them up there? Well, anyway. Come on, Jack, let's put them on the couch. So, the, um, <laughs> and as he went down, <laughs> they had these stupid, Ledges on the floor, <laughs> Jack. It is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Um, so Amanda wants this to be our bedroom. I'm not bullshitting you guys. I have stayed in bigger jail cells. <laughs> it is tiny. Our bed, if we were to put our bed in here, it would literally go from wall to wall if we went lengthwise or uh. Crosswise, but if we're going lengthwise, it'll go to about here. So we're gonna have to make the door swing out. Um, yeah, and I have no idea, no idea where I'm gonna put my computer. It's gonna have to go in the living room somewhere. Um, this is as in Jack's bedroom. It is literally seven feet one inch. From there to there. It's long and narrow. Uh, yeah. We have a nice little yard, a nice little kitchen. Amanda's got plenty of counter space for once. Maybe. Maybe, right? Depends on what to get everything on it. Yeah, yeah. We've got a patio door, a little bitty yard. See? So that's our yard. And I'll take you guys over and show you the shop. Which I'm gonna have to put my uh, fuse box in because it doesn't have enough power. So here's the garage or shop. It's pretty dark. I think this is the one and only time there's gonna be a vehicle in it. Yeah, it's probably the only time there'll be a vehicle in here. Otherwise, it'll be entirely my stuff in here. Be plenty of room. I mean. I like the garage or shop, or whatever, and it's got a, a little room in here where I can, I don't know, put something in there. Oh, it's a light switch. Mm -hmm. Baby, you want to flip that light switch over there? So, yeah, here's, so, I think I'll put the air compressor in here and just drill a hole and run the line out. Uh, big light. I like that. I don't know if it works or not, but I can't reach it. But I got my LED lights I can bring in and hook up. Uh, yeah, so show you the yard real quick. I will say that. It's locked. Oh, it's locked? Oh, okay. Where's your Nissan keys? in my pocket, hold on. So I think these trees are also attracting these bugs. I think these are weed trees. And I think I'm gonna have to cut them down because they're all the same tree. And uh, yeah, I think they're gonna have to come down. I don't like them. I don't like the way they look. Look at this one, it's got orbit trees all around it. And this one as well. So, hey, there's a kitty cat. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. The cat coming to me. Hi, kitty. What you doing? Aren't you cute? Well, anyway, so, this is the backyard. What I'm gonna, I want to do is, 
trim all these front branches about eight feet up. Leave the back branches so we have a little bit and I don't get slapped in the face when I mow the lawn, which I already did. Nice fire pit, which needs to be emptied. Hmm. What does that say? It's a Jeep thing. <laughs> it will never be a Jeep thing. Yeah, so I honestly think we're gonna have to re-roof the house too. You guys can see that. Yeah, I think so. Which won't won't take a half a day. Cause it's so small. Uh oh, we got a crying baby. Uh oh. He's bad that I closed it up. He's really tired. Anyway, we should get going. We still gotta set up some bank accounts and um, explore the town and the school. So, catch you later. All right, guys. So we are here at neighborhood or the local park, local Coney Park at Veterans Park or Veterans Falls. If you listen, you can hear them. I don't know how big they are. I have no idea what to expect, but you know, we need to go for a walk and burn off some energy, have the kids burn off some energy. So that's what we're doing. I will admit I'm depressed, very depressed about this house. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're overpaying dramatically. All right, all set. Come on, guys. Jack, let's go for a monster hunt. A monster. That's Amanda's way of convincing Jack to go for a hike. Let's go. Let's go and find monsters. There's gonna be water monsters here. <laughs> arr, arr. I got my butt soaking wet. <laughs> Oh my god, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pee your pants? <laughs> Why did you pee your pants? You shouldn't be peeing your pants. Come on, let's go. Yeah, bathroom. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's because you kept seeing the word pee. Oh. Come on, we don't need that. Come on, bud. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Come on. You can see all the way from here to the stream. Oh cool. That's no stream, that's the Peshtigo, no, Peshtigo Jack, River. Jack, you have to hold your hand. Very pretty back here. Bam. What? Like my sexy bag? <laughs> sure. Oh, this ain't working for my knee. Back up it. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. What? You can walk alongside it, babe. Yeah, that's better. No cartilage left in my knee. That's great. So now I gotta stay away from stairs altogether. Oh, wow. Hey, there's a bridge over there. How do we get to that? We had to swim across. Yep. We're in a different pair of boots today. How's he doing? Fine. I'm not. Yeah, they're bad. They are really bad. Whoa! Yeah, they're bad. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's just a little bitty fall. Oh, there's the trail to go to. Which? I saw. Well, I don't know. The mosquitoes get any worse. Yeah, the mosquitoes get worse. Oh, there's the 
there's some more falls. That looks exactly like Rock Dam. Don't it? Where are we going? That way. God. No, that way. That's what I said. <laughs> Skeeters are eating us alive. That's a nice little hike though. Wait for Mama. Hello. Oh, bugs. Hold on to my drink. Hello. How you doing? The mosquitoes are gonna eat us alive. We'll go to the bridge and head back. Careful, you don't go in the water. <laughs> what? This trail is not very long. Ooh. Very neat. Ready? Go up on the bridge. To the bridge. Oh, you okay? Jump in, babe. Not much of a waterfall. Yep. Next time we'll make a day of it. Yep. All right, let's head back. Should we head back, or you want to walk down there? Okay. All right, we gotta get out of here. Well, we're home. Two and a half hour drive there, two and a half hour drive back. We left at nine o'clock, got there at 12.30 because we had to stop and get the keys from the owner. And then got everything unloaded, stopped at the waterfall and got home by 6.30. Long ass day. Not to mention we found out that there's no washer or uh, washing machine or dryer. And so, if we had known that, we would have taken our washing machine with us. We did take the washing machine with us. The dryer. No, I mean up to the... Oh, up to the house. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're going to have to make another trip up there, which we have to do anyway. But, it still sucks. We... It sucks. It's just... It's tedious. It's monotonous, it's a long ass drive, and it's, you know, wear and tear on the vehicles, and um, the Nissan needs brakes and new tires, the van, my our Amanda's van needs new shocks, and what else? Oh, shocks and brakes. And so, going back and forth like this is just wreaking havoc on our vehicles, so... I think next time we go, we're just gonna use my mom's van again, and it can pull a trailer, so I just don't wanna use John's trailer anymore because that thing is a pig. It's heavy, it's unwieldy, I hated it. I hated driving with it, but what are you gonna do? So anyway, I'm gonna end this video, and um, we will see you guys on the next one. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Blue kisses? Aww. Mm.